Matt Klein asks, does Swedenborg give any ways to strengthen the connection to angels and possibly lessen the connection to evil spirits? Or is it part of the learning experience to be subject mm. to both? I want to say that I have, you know, I have a lot of favorite Swedenborg numbers, but I came across one recently in, or like two nights ago in Journal of Spiritual Experiences. No, like four nights ago, because I remember in the rehearsal we were thinking about it. Um, yeah. Which is that Swedenborg lays out for you, this is when evil spirits cannot bear to be around you. And it is when you have the truths of faith. So this mm. would be the broadly things like divine providence, God through divine providence runs the universe, um, ev you know, loving other people is heaven, um, loving self alone is hell, that all um, power is actually in good, and that nothing hell can offer you is worth abandoning heaven. If you're in those things and you don't won't admit any objections to them, that you yeah. won't listen to like, well, this feeling is making me feel like being the greatest would be better. So maybe I'll give it my time. If you just, Swedenborg was in a state where he just absolutely wasn't interested in anything hell was throwing at him yeah. by this time in his life. He said, evil spirits hate being around that, that they don't yes. even, because they, they, they say, this is a quote from him, they have nothing then by which they can lead him. Yeah. So they, if, if you're not giving them anything because they have to worm their way in through creating doubt in these fundamental yeah. principles. If you are actively believing God is taking care of everything, all the but but what about this is might happen? What about this? What about this thing that's unfair? So it's a state that I every once in a while can get into for a few minutes. But if somehow I could make that stick, I, I could see that being a really good protection. Yeah, and Swedenborg does say that like when we go through. Um, uh, you know, temptations or, or phases, tough phases in our spiritual process that um, in that way, the Lord, we don't know the use of the trajectory. Like Swedenborg talks about how like he, that prayer of like, not my will, but your will be done mm -hmm. is like, I want this temptation to be over. You know, like I want these evil spirits to not be around me anymore, but I can acknowledge that the Lord's going to take care, like acknowledge all of those truths, like just, it's really important to affirm those truths even when you don't feel it, you know, even when it doesn't feel true and you really do feel like you're in the valley of the shadow of death, you know, of just like you're surrounded, um, but the Lord is preparing a table for you yeah. in the presence of your enemies and that is, um, that doesn't scoop you up out of the valley, but it, you can survive there because, and because, um, so the Lord will let a temptation like that, any presence of evil spirits kicking stuff up in you, ride out to get the most good out of it, yeah. you know, to really be leading. So I have had that experience of like, and it's, it is making real progress. Like Swedenborg says, every time we go through these kinds of spiritual trials, goodness and truth is getting locked together in our spirits in a way that is just impossible to take apart. You know, like the yeah. evil spirits can't get at those parts in us that have created that bond. And so as we keep affirming truths um, and, uh, you know, Take, taking these actions that is like affirming love in our life and um, that, that that will, that builds on itself. And yeah. we really do get, um, the evil spirits might still be there, but like you said, they don't quite get a hook in you or, and they sound a little quieter or you get, yeah. you know, you have enough strength of perspective from experience. So then it's um, just, it's no longer a threat. Like you understand yes. that they're there. Yes. And, and I don't, we're talking about evil spirits and when are they here when they're not. I don't know, we don't know exactly the ratio that this spiritual dy dynamic has to things like, you know, you know, people that have depression or right. anxiety. We don't, like, that, it could be well that we, the human beings, find the cure to those sort of stuff. It could be that the level we're supposed to have with these angels and evil spirits is actually up here and our struggles are up here, but a lot of us are down here right now. Right. So it could well be that a lot of things in life are really fixable. So. I would say, you know, keep up hope that, that it, it's probably that we're supposed to have this battle going on. It's probably not supposed to be as miserable as it is these days. Yeah, and I guess like ways to strengthen the connection to angels and possibly lessen the connection to evil spirits. I mean, like, I would look up what Swedenborg says about the Ten Commandments and like the inner meaning, inner application yeah. of the Ten Commandments and like thinking about ways of act of like, just taking one thing, one idea and applying it in your life, you know, like that is that process of um, giving the Lord an in into mm -hmm. your life. And, um, and that really builds our own awareness of being able to see, gain awareness of the evil around us and see it for what it is. Um, you know, I just, I'm just thinking about like false gods, like the first commandment and yeah. like um, 
like there was a time in my life where like it really took a lot of work for me to even think like well what is it really useful for me to be spending my time thinking or behaving in this particular way or am i sort of making that a false god for myself and like just so there's lots of areas and the lord will guide guides all of us in like how do we apply that in our life and um but i think that 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 is the process that will ultimately lessen our connection to evil spirits and build us up with angels awesome thank you everybody mm-hmm.